Hello and welcome to a Marymount University two minute tutorial. Today we're going to learn to use Smart Notebook and right now I've got a uh, PowerPoint presentation up on how to use Smart Notebook, a Marymount University two minute tutorial. It's just got three slides here. The first one is just the intro, the second one has some text and a picture, and the third the same text and a picture. Now this is a PowerPoint presentation which a lot of you guys will have uh, your lectures in that sort of format. But how do we convert, convert it to use Smart Notebook? So we'll minimize the PowerPoint and open Smart Notebook. And here we go. Time to import it, file, and open. And then we'll search for our PowerPoint presentation. Look for all files, since right now it's just looking for Smart Notebook files. Look for all files on our desktop. And I'll scroll down, and there's the presentation, How to Use Smart Notebook. Now, right now, it's going to convert those PowerPoint files into slides that are available to be read by Smart Notebook. And here we go as our first intro slide, just the text. The second slide, bones of the wrist, looks exactly like it was in PowerPoint. And now the third one looks a little bit different. And I'll, I'll scroll, uh, switch back to uh, PowerPoint. The heart is kind of a big deal. We all have one. It is a big deal. But you'll see how the text kind of cuts off. And the reason I did this was to just show you that sometimes there's a little bit of a conversion error. So all you have to do is select the text, just like you would in PowerPoint, and change the file size, or excuse me, the, the font size to make everything match up. So the reason I'm showing you this is that sometimes things don't straight up convert uh, the way that they'd normally look in PowerPoint. So you've got to go in there and just kind of change them a little bit. Um, another thing you can also do while you're converting your PowerPoint presentation to a smart notebook presentation is you have all of the tools like the pens you can draw on your presentation, make some notes, add some more text. I love hearts. And of course you have the multi-shape tools. Of course a favorite would be the all-important heart. So that is your Marymount University two-minute tutorial about how to open up a PowerPoint presentation using Smart Notebook. <clears throat>